Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome back to my fourth season of XCOM 2. Today's mission is a special one because our entire campaign hinges on the outcome. The aliens have shot us out of the sky and our job is to defend the Avenger and destroy their disruptor antenna or we lose. The series is over. To celebrate the occasion, A Better Advent 2 introduces two new enemy types and both get me more than a little anxious. But while a literally endless stream of Advent troops and significantly improved sectopods are certainly a challenge, that doesn't mean we're going to lay down and die for them. If they want the Avenger, they're going to have to take it the hard way. Well, this is a big one, isn't it? Uh, we lose this. We lose the campaign. <laughs> I'm always painfully aware of that with this mission. Now, okay, he does have concealment. I could not remember when doing the, um, what do you call this? Avenger defense. If he would start with it or not. Wow. He did, which is nice. Now, unfortunately, he's the only one I have with concealment. So I don't think I'll move Jack quite as far forward. Because I think I would prefer if I didn't have to trigger anybody, but it looks like he did. All right. It is what it is. I'm not going to fuss about it. Uh, Okay. Two pods, definitely less good. By far, by far the hardest part of the De Avenger defense mission is the beginning. Um, there's a bunch of groups that are out here and you have to kind of clear the table. Once you've done that, it's not so bad. Uh, you know, you get reinforcements every turn and it definitely keeps you on your toes. But um, you can usually keep up with it if you have a good squad. I'm going to move her up as far as I can, I think. But, you know, I'm a little torn. I, I think what I need to do is use Jack uh, to run a gun. And I want to get him before she blocks his path. So I want to get him a relatively easy kill. More importantly, I'm going to kill the guy closest to us. So this should just be one and done. Jack Burton, you've done it again. You beautiful bastard. So we'll worry about his implacable move in a little bit. Uh, but I do want to get these guys forward. Okay, so Amanda and Mary can both move up there. <sighs> Tricky part here is figuring out, you know, who do you want in what spot? So I think I'll move Stanislav here. I may want to use a Mimic Beacon this turn, to be honest. Now, he does not particularly have any good shots. Why don't I move Amanda here? Hmm. That should almost be Dick's spot, but... Here's a thought. Would Saturation Fire help me? I could hit two. That's not amazing, really. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. But, you know what I'm more tempted to do? Oh. Uh, you know, I don't mind that these grenades don't break cover. But it does bother me that the cover stops it. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting all three. That's pretty good. Because we're... We're blocking, or excuse me, we're like, how can I say it? We're inhibiting all three of their abilities to get a good shot. And doing some damage. I think I'll do that. 
I'm not positive it's the best move, but it's at least respectable. So now, uh, Stanislav, let me let me still come back to you. I can't really get him anywhere that's going to matter. Ooh, boy. You know what I did not realize is how flankable I had made her for this guy. That definitely makes me want to... Um, most of them can't even see him. I'm going to actually do this. Because I think this is a kill. He's got uh, dragon rounds, so that guy is burning. He's going to die. So this dude is really the only one that I need to worry about. And the problem is I just have such a poor chance. In fact, he can't even shoot him. He doesn't have visibility on him. Well, I hate to use a Mimic Beacon this early, but I'm going to, because uh, I am not going to allow my guys to get trashed. And I'm going to just hold Stanislaw back until he can be more effective. On the other hand, I'm going to move the Swede here. That may have been a poor spot to move him to, but it's done. So obviously my preference here would be to get a kill if I can. It does not seem, wow, I can't, I literally can't even tell what, oh, okay. So this could be a kill. Um, maybe this is the one that makes the most sense. I have almost as good a chance as I do at the other guy. And if she hits, she kills. So I'll do that. And we got him. Because she wasn't going to kill the other guy. He was still going to have a health left, most likely, even after the poison. So, I think I'm going to leave Jack right where he is. Because this guy, if he does end up shooting at someone, uh, shooting at Jack would be perfect. Okay, so these guys are puking their guts out from the poison gas, which is just how I like it. And they're still poisoned, which means their shots will suck. And he's done for, just like we figured. So we took out two of the six. Another two are seriously inhibited. And they got the Mimic Beacon to deal with. So this guy. Perfect. I mean, if the two... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so that's it for the Mimic Beacon. But it drew the shot of the guy I was most worried about. Okay, that sucked a little, but it could have been worse. Okay, we got Alessandro. And that guy is, is going to die, just in case you're wondering. Now that is a little bit nerve wracking because if I use the Swede, um, the, yeah, the, you know, you have to be concerned that I'll do this because this guy is going to die. Let me reload. Actually, hold on. She can see those two. Before I use her, let's just make sure. Like, can Amanda see the same ones? Yes. Okay. Um, wait, this dude was back here and I think I want to make sure I settle him before I do anything else. Yeah, this makes sense. Now I do hope I get this kill. It's not guaranteed. I don't think. Yep. 95%. Okay. So I'll worry about his implacable move in a minute. And he can only see these two guys. 
I don't really like using lightning hands on a 50% chance shot, but I'd rather use lightning hands than um, one of the hail of bullets. And did I just trash his cover? No. No, I just sprayed some leaves. Is this any better? It is quite a lot better. Let's do this. Maybe he can just get a kill. Done. Okay. It's pretty nice, actually, that we're getting... Uh, we're getting a little time to just try and hammer out these groups. I think I will go ahead and use Hail of Bullets on this guy. See if we can't finish him off. Now, does he have one health? He does. And let me just make sure. He is poison. He's poison. So he's dead. Now, is that everybody? I believe it is because there was the officer, the guy over here we just killed, and that guy. I feel like I'm missing one, but I actually don't think I am. I'm really tempted to just take this shot because what I would like to do is kill him and then be able to move the Swede forward a notch. And right now, I can't move him at all. Um, what if I move Alessandro like here? I want to start, you know, loosening up this formation a little bit, not being quite so tightly clustered. Maybe I move Dick here because at least that way I have a sniper covering this half of the map. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to reload him. So, I think I am going to try this. Uh, again, I know he would die. Alright. It was a pretty good shot, though. That is not good. So, I'll leave the Swede where he's at. I won't, I won't scout. And I'm not going to waste his shot. I'll just leave him on Overwatch. Think it's more likely he'll do me some good over here. here and it's also less likely for him to reveal another pod. So that guy's done. I was kind of thinking there was one more dude that was part of that group, but maybe not. I did lose track a little bit. So obviously we have a new pod and that was only to be expected. There he is. That's... I think the guy, unless he was part of this pod, but I, I don't know. And does it matter at this point? Yeah, let's worry about how to kill these six guys and not who was part of what pod. So the Andromedan is a pretty big concern. Uh, the Vipers, what are they, Mambas? I mean, I don't really know what makes the Mambas unique, you know? So that's a little bit of a concern. Dick can't actually see any of them. Uh, what's your story? Well, he only really has one good shot. I don't want to move him forward to try and get, you know, a different one. So I'm going to say let's take the good shot that he has. Uh, the other thing I could do, of course, is wreck cover. But the problem with that is I don't really anticipate being able to spend a lot of time uh, on these guys. Uh, I guess I'll hold off for a minute. Obviously, as I said before, they're kind of like my big, big concern. And I do not want to move forward from here. Um, you know, we can see the beacons not that far away. I don't know why we can see them. Maybe it's because of the Swede. Huh. 
Huh. No, it's not. So why can't I say? I don't know. <laughs> there is no why. There's only it's XCOM. So here's the thing. Um, I think it makes sense to do one of two things here. Either we use a grenade and, you know, sh do a little shredding and whatnot. Unfortunately, I cannot include that guy and get these two. Otherwise, ooh, I would be happy to do it. I could reload and do saturation fire. I mean, I could even do something like this. Uh, my problem is I don't really want to leave these guys to do what they want during my turn. So that makes kill zone a lot worse. I, uh... I actually think I'm going to reload. And... Hmm. I think I will do this. I don't know. I think I'm more comfortable just trying to blow this guy to hell. Okay, decent start. Cool, at least his armor's gone. He'll be a lot easier, you know, to affect now. And then I think it only makes sense for Mary to do something similar to him. What are my odds with chain shot? 90%. Okay. I don't know if that's smart. Maybe I should have. I mean, it worked out okay. But maybe I should have just taken the 100% and used somebody else to finish them. It's hard to do that when you have six guys activated and one of them is really a seventh. Because even if I kill the stupid Andromedan, which I'm going to try and do right now. Um, you know, problem is he's coming right back. And I did just use my blue screen rounds up so I don't have anybody who can tear him up this turn. I can do damage, but not the same way I could if one of the two Grenadiers was still able to go. So this is where, you know, maybe I start working on some of these other dudes. So we've made pretty good progress. I have to decide if I'm going to use him too. I mean, I might even get a kill, although it's dodgy. Let's do this. I, I think it makes sense. With the mech down, that's a good start. Now we got this guy down. The first phase of the Andromedan is used up. And I'm kind of thinking I'd rather do this and just take another guy off the board. Because, see, here's the thing. The Andromedan isn't going to be able to do anything this turn. We used up his, um, or, you know, we killed the version of him that could do a ranged attack. So, like, I'm way more interested in killing off the other guys this turn than I am him. So, actually, uh, even though this is not ideal, I think I'm going to take this shot. Hopefully, you know, this makes him more killable next time. Part of me even wants to do this. It's just such a low percentage shot. Uh, it probably just makes more sense to do this, to be honest. Hopefully, I get at least one of them. Oh, baby. Come on, Swede. You can do it, man. Awesome. Yeah, that's the best. And since he's revealed, I don't care that he's untouchable. I think I just move him here. Get full cover instead of that half crap. I'm going to leave Jack right where he's at. 
So we still have, you know, this guy will throw a shield, which will also protect the codex, unless she moves first. I guess they decided to go on patrol. At least I was able to take care of most of those guys. Oh, brother, you're kidding me. Oh, that's bad. Now oh, that I don't care about too much. Hmm. And this is absolutely fine with me. Okay, so I'm thinking he doesn't have blue screen rounds, but she does. So... Wow, I can't see the uh, sectopod? Really? Is he what went concealed? Oh boy. How... How would I reveal him? Oh, that seems bad. <laughs> so I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just try and kill this idiot. So that's done. I mean, it made it easy for me coming right in. Didn't get a shot or anything. It just presented itself for termination. So, obviously, this guy is the one I would most like to kill. But, I probably am going to have to... She can't see it. Crap. We're in trouble. That stupid sectopod is coming. Wait, oh, never mind. I thought it showed he was flanked. I could try to move up. I definitely don't want to go too far forward. I'll come here. Okay, let me do this. See if it works. It sucks that I can only get one, but here's the thing. I want to break up that cover. Alright. I just figured if the sectopod was over there, I would try to go as far to the left as I could. Oh, there's the sectopod. Oh, I'm so confused right now. I saw it in the background. Can I see it now? No. Oh, this is so bizarre. Okay. Let's just do this. Um... This should finish him. And there goes the shield for everybody else. You can't handle me. Oh, we got Stanislav a promotion. That's very cool. Think I'm going to use a Mimic Beacon for him this turn because honestly, it just makes sense. Um, I'm also thinking... I have a 50% chance here. I'm going to reload. And just take this shot. If I get it, I probably kill him. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. I'm going to put her on Overwatch. Uh, hold on. Oh, I can't move her. Okay, Overwatch. Because we know something's coming. I mean, we know that for a fact. Roger. And I'm going to move him. I didn't give him a medikit. Ouch. And I'm going to heal her. I only have two heals. And I know she's only down by four. But with knowing something is coming. Something wicked this way comes. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. And I'm going to put him on Long Watch. Not Kill Zone. Not at this time. So here comes that guy.
Oh, I don't know if I like the annihilation protocol. Okay, that's good at least. I wish she'd have fired first, but... Oh, was it the drone? That's what it was. Don't, don't, he did. Oh, for four turns. Hmm, nice. Okay, well, look. Um, I don't have chain shot, but I can shoot it, and I'm gonna. Because she has the, uh, the uh, blue screen rounds. Uh, I don't know what the whole uh, annihilation protocol is. I guess that just means he gets another action because he's a prime. So we need to keep his actions as limited as possible. Um, and I think what I want to do, see, unfortunately, she doesn't have chain shot either. That's really scary. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Um, should I try to use the Swede? Uh, do rapid fire? Because I probably kill him if I do. And I kind of need to kill him. If I move closer, I have a better chance of killing him. It's just... I need to kill this guy, and I need to kill that drone, too. She could kill the drone, so that's not a problem. Stanislav, shh, can't see the Lancer. But I've got him. Can Dick see him? No, he cannot. But I could move. Alessandro can see him. Okay, um, I'm going to do this because we have a legitimate chance to kill this thing. I'm going to move closer. I'm going to go rapid fire. It's kind of scary. Okay, it's definitely him. Let's do it. That's a very good start, to put it mildly. Uh all right. I gotta admit, a sectopod who gets to keep taking actions, that's a pretty scary opponent. No lie. All right, so let's do this. I think that's a pretty obvious one with her blue screen rounds. She can kill it. That is right. Now, he can't see anything. Alessandro got flanked. Somehow his cover got destroyed. I don't know exactly when or how that happened. I'm not going to move forward because there was another group. I'll move him here. He'll have a flanking shot. That's pretty good. I'm going to hollow target him. That's even better. Oh, that's really good. So he's easy pickings now. So Stanislav. Sh oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I forgot he can't see the guy. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll move him here. And just pistol whip him, I think. And that should be that. Okay. Whew, I'm not moving forward. Um, I'll put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. I will reload Dick. I'm ready. Covering now. And that's it. All right. Yeah, no way was I going to move him forward at this phase. In okay. Assault. 
I know there's a group here. And I know the reinforcements are going to start coming. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Alessandro up. And we're going to see if we trigger. No, we did not. Good. So suppose... I think I'm probably going to move April as far as she can towards where the reinforcements are going to come in. Uh, my concern is I need to make certain that I don't trigger that other group. And it won't be like super hard to do that. And we like even now I don't really have good shots against that other group. So that's kind of scary. But you know what? Maybe what I do, although that stupid thing could block at that vehicle. So I guess I'll just put him on normal overwatch. Alternatively, um, I mean, I could just move him and try to be set up for next turn. Maybe I'll do that. And this way, again, I know I'm not going to trigger anybody. Yeah, I kind of like this. Does he have free reloads or just reloads? Okay. I'm just going to reload him. If I do this and I trigger them, holy crap. I'll take the chance. This is probably stupid as hell. Well, a superior expanded magazine is a good one. So, here it is. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is like put them over here. <laughs> I, I got to know I'm not triggering anything. It's so hard. Okay. Okay. Covering now. Yeah, that's fine. Gotta cover. Now, he's another one. I think I'm just going to dash. Got it. He isn't going to do me any good back here. All right. I think we're there. I'm on it. Is it two guys? I'll bat for two guys. <laughs> Is anybody going to hit? At least they both have hollow targeting. But nobody else is going to fire. Okay. That did me a lot of good, didn't it? Oh, brother. That's interesting. I don't think in the times I've done this mission, I've ever seen him do that before. Where, like, you just totally ended up with the exact same thing both times. I could... I could, uh, hmm. I could trigger that other pod this way. Let me try this. I'm going to split it, though. That's a real issue. Doggone it. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, I can't. Uh, I, that's fine. That's fine. Let's reload her, and then I'll do it. I don't think the other one is close enough. I think I can kill him. Blue screen rounds. Don't leave home without him. Okay, and Jack's back on his feet, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to hold him back just for the moment. So... I think I'll do this. Tired of waiting around. Might as well. Yep. That's fine. And even after I reload, he should be in pretty good position to fight those guys next turn. 
I think I'm going to leave him where he's at. Now, Alessandro needs a reload. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm going to move her forward. Rolling. This is going to probably burn her concealment. Which does kind of suck, to be honest. But, mm. I don't know that he's going to do me a lot of good back here. So I'm going to start moving forward. And I'm thinking... Yeah, I might as well. We're going to have to take on that other group. So that's a thing. Maybe after I kill these reinforcements. Absolutely. We also have to worry about reinforcements coming in on the other side of the map. So I definitely have some issues I'm going to have to work through. But I think in general we'll be a little better off if we can position people so that we're not all back by the entrance. All right, let's go Overwatch. And in the turn. So, I mean, I feel like these guys should die pretty quickly. Good shot, Dick. Wow, my two sharpshooters. <laughs> All right, she settled it. So there's another one, isn't there? Or was that literally the entire pod? Yeah, no, there's another guy. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers Reserve. Oh, that's cool. Menace one five, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. I think actually what I'm going to do is start moving her over this way. And maybe what I can do is um, potentially use the sharpshooters for uh, destroying the antenna. And maybe I'll try to get out of here without ever even triggering the one thing. Let's do this. Oh, I got I to gotta kill that one guy. I gotta stop screwing around on that one. Um, let me think. Is there anybody I should try to feed the kill to? I mean, most of us over here just don't even need to worry about it. Yeah, you know what? I don't even... I'm just gonna have Stanislav do this. He can. And I don't want to trigger that other group. He didn't get the kill though, did he? The guy's got two health. I needed one more damage than that. That's unfortunate. Uh, I need a reload. Can I just do this? Eh, it's not guaranteed. And there's a fairly real chance I do something that I really, really, really don't want to do. So what if I move her here? Hopefully that's not... Good. Perfect. Done. And she needs a promotion too still. So. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, you reload. And um, do I want to come over this way? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Possibly. She ain't going to do me any good back here. Got it covered. Um, yeah, I think I'll just come over here. These two can kill any two things that are going to come out of there. I'll move Alessandro over as well. Now. 
And um, just because he can use a promotion, I'll put him there too. And then what I'm thinking is I'll move her here. Now, Dick cannot see the antenna thing. Apparently he could from here. So let's start getting ready to take shots at that. Because uh, this mission will just literally never, ever end if we don't. Okay, and that's it. So I have no idea, but I assume this will just be more advent troops. Yep. <laughs> Got a nice close up of Jack there. So if we can have a bunch of people clustered around their drop point, I just don't see them, you know, surviving that. I mean, they may survive my overwatch because we can't hit anything, hardly. Good job, Sam. Lowest ranking guy, of course, he gets all the damage in. Uh, but that's the thing, like, they can just take dudes out, you know? So, unfortunately, Sam can't get close enough to kill this guy. That really is too bad, too. Uh, so, I'm just going to bring Jag over here. I assume that even with the new swords, I can't do anywhere near enough damage to kill one of these guys. Obviously, I could use a sword on him. Um, what I need to figure out is getting the kill through all the cover and all that nonsense. Okay, I think this is the way to do it. I bring him here. And I'm going to soften up this dude. Oh, crap. Well, I put him in the wrong place, didn't I? I certainly did. Okay, well, one thing at a time. Yep, I was afraid of that. Yeah, I didn't get it. Gonna need to reload soon. It's not really a big deal. Like, I have ways. I have ways. Not a problem. The other two guys I'm not worried about at all. Because I know the rangers can take them. <laughs> but this one ended up being, you know, slightly more of an adventure than I was counting on. on the I'm not going to use Skull Mine because there's too much chance it won't work. And I need this to work. I love that delayed reaction. Uh, it made me think, oh, nice. We got him his promotion, too, now. Okay, so let's start running the table on these clods. Finally. Jack, you come over here, if you'd be so kind. I really don't like that. <laughs> it's basically guaranteed. It's just not actually guaranteed <laughs> I did so hold on now the Swede uh, can I just kill him with the sword and not waste any ammo no it's not guaranteed that's the problem so we'll come over here and we'll dust this guy <laughs> I love that scream <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now she is still not in position to see the one antenna, apparently. Oh, and I need to get there with cover. Okay, let me come here. I have at least a chance of not being revealed that way. Right, guys? 
I'm I'm working on it, bro. I'm working on it. Dick, this is what I moved you over here for. Okay, this is good. Yep, one more shot and it's going to go down. And it's possible, very possible, that I can just get that now. There you go. Okay. Commander, we can take off on your order. We should get the squad on board and get mm -hmm. No kidding. Okay, well obviously I could move these two a country mile. Uh, but I'm gonna keep them close to the others because they have the most mobility by far. So they'll have the easiest time getting out no matter what. Now, I'm immediately going to start pulling back with her. Okay. We did what we needed to do in that part of the map. Uh, I'm going to leave Egg right where he's at. Amanda, I think I'm going to start moving back. Yeah. Don't think we actually need to worry about that, to be honest. I can get most of the way back this turn, and they don't appear until next turn. So, I think we're done here. I think we just go. Roger that. I'm going to put Amanda on Overwatch. And I'm going to bring Stanislav back a little bit. Tired of waiting around. He's not going to have good overwatch. Well, that's all right. Covering now. Uh, yeah, so these are the guys who really need to, you know, move their butts. And uh, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, I'm going to have a little bit of a bias towards keeping to the right half of the map because the last thing I want to do is trigger that one group now and kind of, you know, snatch disaster from the jaws of uh, <laughs> doing well. Let's move already. I think I'm going to put him on overwatch. Just to give those guys a little bit of a greeting. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Maybe it'll matter. Probably not. Okay. So her, I'm just bringing straight back. As far as she can. Egg, you go on Overwatch. I'm going to leave Dick where he's at. And in fact, where it's over here. Yep. That's fine. Oh, wow. There's four of them again. I don't think it matters. Are there four? I thought I saw four. Mm-hmm. Well, we miss them all. Yeah, there's four. Mm-hmm. Hit the armor. Well, at least Dick is hitting some of his shots. Some being the key word. Well, okay. So, um, she cannot see the one thing. 
So here's my thing. Top priority is I just need to get on the landing pad. Um, I would like to get kills, like if I can. It doesn't look like she can see the codex from any of these spots. So, you know, not a lot I can do about it. Now, what I might be able to do is that. So I will. Why not? She does already have a promotion though. So actually, is there anybody who doesn't? Alessandro doesn't. Unfortunately for him to get back, he can't uh, fire. So I'm just going to move him on the platform and not worry about it. And let's see. I'm a, and I could do something like kill it and then come here. Eh, why not? I don't know. It's just a waste of time. Let's just get out of here. I think that's kind of where I'm coming from right now. <laughs> Headed there now. Scanning. So basically, oh, well, I don't mind doing this, I guess. I'd like to get a kill on the way out the door. Jeez. So cheesy. Dick, let's get you back. So is she the only other one? Moving to designated position. Yeah, recover soldiers zero. Let's lift off. All right, we didn't get any cheap kills on the way out, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is we didn't lose the game. Uh, what matters is we did get a few promotions and uh, we took one wound, which was unfortunate, especially because I'm pretty sure the guy that hit Mary was poisoned at the time. But then again, she was behind half cover. So that, you know, makes it a little easier for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how that went, especially to face something as scary as that Sectopod Prime that gets extra actions. I mean, if there is one thing in the game, well, two probably, Gatekeepers and Sectopods, you just do not want to see them getting to take extra actions because they are so dangerous. I mean, if that Sectopod unloads on one of our guys, that could just be the end of them. So... Uh, especially if he got off like two shots in a row or something like that, because they can easily do 12 damage. So, yeah. Uh, wow. I have really... <laughs> I have had the luck on this campaign for hidden abilities. I mean, thanks. Thanks, XCOM. Okay, well, he's Gunslinger all the way, so we're going Fanfire. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I kind of have mixed feelings here. I, You know what? I don't. I took Saturation Fire for Amanda. I tend to not use Rupture a ton when I have it. But, particularly for situations where Chain Shot doesn't work that well... Uh, because I don't have a good enough chance to hit. Rupture is a very good ability. There's no question about that. So uh, she is heavy gunner all the way. And what's awesome, her wound is only going to cost us two days. Um, let me do this. I want to put that expanded. Oh, I, I went in the wrong place. 
My apologies. Ah, uh, weapon upgrade. Let's put this to use right now. Okay, well, we'll finish scanning for this. Avenger plotting new course. And I got Soul Steel. Inspire. Oh, that's so good. I want it. I love that ability. I really do. <laughs> There's a lot of really good psionic abilities, to be fair. Okay, 103 alloys, 80 crystals. Uh, is there literally anything we can do besides... Well, I can do this. So I guess that's what we'll do. Oh, I remember. I said I was going to come here. And, you know... Well, I haven't, uh, I haven't got the Swede back. I'll just do this. Just to be safe. I'll at least start it. I'd actually like to get Viviana again, too. Oh, okay. So, that means I can upgrade uh, the Shadow Chamber. Which I need to do. Wait, insufficient power? Really, guys? Okay. Emily, if you would be so kind. Now... Let me come here. I'll upgrade it. Shadow chamber upgrade. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so what do I need to do now? Um, we have to do this. Okay, so when I finish the gatekeeper autopsy, we'll start working on shadow chamber stuff again. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got that. Soul Steel. Sustain is very good. I think I'll do that. That basically is like limited immortality. So it's pretty good. And I did get the Swede back. So maybe... Oh, never mind. Okay. So what do we got? Um, I don't care about that at all. I uh, care about this some. Don't care about the scientist too much, although I do a little. Well, we'll probably do this. Destroy the alien relay. And what is this one? Protect the device. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Uh, looks like we have to fight the Chrysalid King. So that'll be interesting. We've done that before. Uh, but obviously not too often. Okay. All right, well, when we come back, we will see if we can prevent two blocks of progress to the Avatar Project and maybe get another scientist to help us out. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.